Professor Charlie Jeffrey, thank you very much for being here with us at SAIS. You've talked about the Peel's Mule territorial tradition of the UK. Could you describe this concept and its effects on the political dynamic of the country today? Yeah, yes, I could, thank you. Um, what I meant by that, that phrase, the piecemeal territorial tradition, uh, is the way that the UK state was formed of different component parts over a period of centuries. Um, that formation process happened around an English core um, to which uh, different uh, uh, nations were added as time passed. Initially the Welsh, later the Scots, uh, then the Irish. Uh, those processes of union with the other nations around England didn't happen in a uniform way. Uh, they each reflected the, the conditions of the time. They were each updated periodically over the centuries, uh, but never in any kind of systematic process uh, which tried to coordinate uh, in, in, a, in a standard way across the various parts of the UK. So effectively, by the time we came to the devolution reforms, we had different kinds of relationship between the central state of the UK and its Scottish, Welsh and Northern Irish components. And it's those different relationships which really um, set the ball rolling for what's happened uh, since devolution, uh, enabling a process in which uh, each part of the UK is beginning to look for its own solutions to the questions uh, it faces and in which uh, there isn't really much coordination across the UK as a whole. And what are your predictions for the 2014 referendum in Scotland? Uh, very difficult to predict uh, this far out and the opinion polls currently are uh, that um, the, the no side the, no campaign is, is way ahead at 50% plus, uh, with the pro-independence support stuck at around 30% in most uh, opinion polls. Uh, there are some question marks about what will happen uh, in, in the coming period, and I, I suspect we'll end up with a much closer result uh, than that. Some of those question marks are about the Conservative Party. Uh, some opinion polls have suggested that if people think the Conservatives will win the next UK election, then support for independence will rise. So that's one factor. Uh, there's a big factor around economic expectations. Uh, if the SNP is, is able to produce a convincing vision that Scotland will be better off uh, after independence, then that's likely to raise support. Equally, if the, if the other side of the equation will suggest that this is an economic risk and it could be damaging, then that could depress support. So it will depend a little bit on, on how that, uh, how that uh, process of putting the, the competing economic visions uh, pans out. Uh, and then finally, there's, a, there's a, a simple point about campaign infrastructure. Uh, the SNP has a very effective campaigning infrastructure, very high tech, very good in the use of social media. Um, it is one party with one unambiguous leader uh, and I think that will give it um, some advantage in the campaign as compared to the other side uh, which um, combines the efforts of three political parties whose viewpoints on these issues are not absolutely the same uh, and where there is uh, not such a compelling leader uh, in, in, on the no side as, as Alex Salmond on the yes side. Um, do you think that this uniting process in the UK is a temporary phenomenon or will it continue? I, I think it is not a temporary phenomenon. In, in some respects it's been happening for centuries um, and, and I think it can go through any number of, of iterations. Um, I, I said in my lecture that the Wales is now on its third form of devolution since its introduction in 1999 and a review is underway to establish what might be a fourth one. Um, the Scots will see a, a second uh, form of devolution enacted in the coming years, even if uh, there is a no vote in the referendum. Uh, and I suspect that even if there is a no vote, um, there will be a, a further reform of, of Scottish devolution. Uh, so I think we'll see uh, lots of iterations uh, in this process, uh, and I see little prospect of a stable equilibrium. Professor Charlie Jeffrey, thank you very much uh, for being with us here today at SACS. Thank you very much indeed.